Leos. Subscribe. What up, Leos? What about stay up in this mood? And that's right. Today we are unboxing and painting up the final of the four new wizard kits that have come with the Storm of Magic expansion for Warhammer Fantasy, the Zinch Sorcerer Lord. And let's take a look at the model on the sprue, or I mean on the clamshell, and then we're going to take a look at the model on the sprue. So as you can see, he's got very Zinchian bird-like talons for feet. He's got the, no armor on his feet because his legs are mutated like an ostrich or like some kind of bird. Then an extra arm and there's the signature purple on the staff. And this staff looks great because it doesn't look like lightning arc so much as a kind of, you know, marbled kind of stone quality to it, which is going to be really great fun to paint up. And the detail on the head looks fantastic. So let's take a look at the sprue. And you've got the arm with the staff. Good detail on the staff. Let's take a look at the head on the other side. Yeah, ooh, he's mad. He's angry. Okay, you've got the bird legs. Yeah. Oh, those are great. Those are fantastic. This looks like the front of the armor plate. Got a great little angry demon face design on it. The back of the torso. And the other arm. And of course the decorative base. And this one, like the Dark Elf Sorceress, is kind of plain. I've noticed that these two, this one as well as the Dark Elf Sorceress, is just has some some rocks and some just a little bit of, of a rubble kind of surface to it. Whereas the other Chaos Sorcerer Lord looks like he's standing on an impact point of a crater or an eight-pointed star. And the Necromancer for the Vampire Counts is standing on a skeleton, so so it's interesting that these other two went with more I want to say common or regular kind of basing work. But there you've got the model on the sprue, just a half a sprue again, just like all the other new releases. And I'm wondering if this is going to be how they do anything that they would have done in metal from now on, instead of, you know, just since they're not doing metal anymore and they're apparently they're not doing everything in fine cast since these are in plastic so they're gonna keep releasing the plastics and maybe this kind of hybrid but you know the detail on it is really great and by breaking up breaking the, these single pieces up into more more pieces these single figures into more pieces on the sprue they're able to get a lot more detail in so So, you know, it's up to you whether you decide whether you like it or not, but for the price that they're charging for one figure, it's it's going to be hard to keep up if you want a lot of these character figures in your army, especially if you're just starting up, but I do it because I love to paint them and I, you know, the, I just have a great time with these models. So I'm going to put this guy together and we'll see you when I get back. Okay, something I noticed while I was putting this guy together is when I was trying to put him on his base, I didn't see how how he was going to fit on it, and then I realized that the feet only come with the middle talon. The legs only come with the middle talon on the feet. The other two side talons are modeled into the actual base, so that's kind of a guide on how to set your feet where. And, you know, that's a kind of creativity that gets taken away from where, you know, maybe if you want to put him on a, on a different base or you want to put him in a different pose or in a different area of the base to make him fit with the rest of the unit that you've already built, it's going to be harder to do unless you green stuff or sculpt your own side talons for each of the two big bird feet. Anyways, the only other thing that I felt found hard, not hard, but a little bit difficult with building this guy was I 
try I thought I dry fitted the arms to to be able to stay in a certain po po pose and have the head angled a certain way but as you can see his head I needed to angle that kind of cut to the side in order to not mess around with that third hand so it almost looks like he's <laughs> he's got his hand cupped to the side of his face like he's whispering hey hey you hey kid hey buddy hey come here or like he's wiping his mouth like he just drooled all over himself and he got embarrassed or something or he's just got his head cocked at a jaunty angle like a bird-like creature who sees something and finds it curious like rrr, rrr. so there's the model all built up pretty cool you're gonna find if you buy this model that the hardest thing or one of the hardest things this model is all full of just craziness is that the two legs come separate but there's no bottom half bottom torso so you're gonna need to put the legs to the back piece of the torso at a certain angle so that the legs connect because the legs don't connect solely to each other they've got a slot at a certain angle to fit with the back of the torso the back part of the torso so that is possibly something that might give new modelers some difficulty but the instructions are very good at showing you that okay you put your first leg down or not maybe not down on the base yet but you put your first leg your second leg and you just have them ready to slot in and then you dry fit piece number three so they all three go together and then you put piece number four on and he is bent over at a crazy angle so you have to build him all hunched over like this there's no other way that the leg pieces will fit so just take your time with him dry fit him as much as possible before you just start throwing glue on and and there you go we'll see you back when it's painted and we're done all right players i'm going to show you the finished product let's take one more look at the clamshell as a frame of reference so i'm going to show you what i did i painted everything as close to the scheme as i could get and when you go on the gw website the skin color is actually a lot bluer. So take a look at how it kind of looks like like dark grayish. And now check out the website pictures. There's more of an ice blue tinge to all of the skin. So don't know if they did some color correction when they went in for this, but I actually, when I went to do my research online, I found that, oh, it's a lot brighter and bluer than this guy. Or maybe they just painted up two models, which they totally could have done too. So, let's take a look. Here he is. So I went with the bluer skin tone. I still kept this purple blending into the lower part of the birdie feet. So let's see if we can get a close up. There you go. And I did some light highlights on the edges of the armor. Painted the Xinxian eye. And there is a little bit of a look at the inside. Slushy snow base so he could fit with my Chaos Army. And there's his face. With his three eyeballs looking up. So I'm really happy with the way this model turned out. Really like the way the marbling effect on the staff turned out as well. Probably gonna go over it with a, wa a layer of gloss varnish just to give it some shine to it. But he's pretty much done and I'm really happy with it. So thank you for watching. Also, what I did with the skin was I base coated it with Deneb Stone. And then I thought that was a little bit too, too cream, creamy. So I went back over it and I did a base coat of Astronomicon Gray instead and that worked perfectly. Then I just watered down a lot of ice blue and I glazed all the recesses. And then I just highlighted back up. And then I 
added a little bit of Astronomicon gray to the ice blue mix and just started layering up all the all the light spots. So hope you like him. Let's end up this week of Wizards from the Storm of Magic release by showcasing one more time all four of the new releases. So get some focus and we'll go start off again with here's the Chaos Wizard Lord that I painted first. Detailed shot of his cape. I'm gonna have to add some snow to this guy's base as well since he's gonna be marching along with my Warriors of Chaos army that is still in the imagination stage. And then the Dark Elf Sorceress, which is from, from my very last video. The purple eyeshadow. And non-metallic metal battle bikini. Crazy old man. Get off my lawn! And that's it. And one more time, here's the Chaos Sorcerer of Tzinch. So thanks a lot for tuning in and for all the kind compliments. To all my new subscribers, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining me and hope you guys enjoyed it. The next thing I'm going to be getting into are some of the monster releases. I'm going to start with the fine cast cockatrice and we'll go from there. So we'll see you in the next one. Say bye everybody. Bye bye.